Hi guys, it's Quinn. The YouTube algorithm promotes content that has high engagement. If you appreciate my videos, please hit the like button so that our YouTube AI overlord shines its favor upon me. In Dan Simmons' epic science fiction saga, there are several planets known to be labyrinthine worlds. The labyrinthine worlds were always similar to each other. Each world was Earth-like. The galactic hegemony has a method of measuring Earth-like worlds known as the Soul Myth Scale. Each of the labyrinthine worlds measured at least a 7.9 out of 10 on the scale, and they always circled a G-type star. The labyrinthine worlds were all tectonically dead, meaning the continents did not shift as they did on Earth. And below the surface of each of the labyrinthine worlds, a minimum of 10 kilometers deep, were systems of elaborate tunnels. Thousands of kilometers of tunnels catacombed the entirety of each world. The tunnels of each world were exactly 30 meters square and had perfectly smooth walls. Since the Hajira, mankind's great exodus from the planet Earth into space, more than 8,000 worlds had been explored, and out of those, nine worlds were found to have labyrinths. Though it is mentioned multiple times in the series that there are nine labyrinthine worlds, only three of them are ever actually named. Armagas, Svoboda, and Hyperion. Many planetary archaeo historians devoted their lives to the study of the labyrinths. The Hyperion labyrinths are mentioned to have thousands of entrances. The labyrinths of each world were also extraordinarily old, each constructed more than 750,000 years ago, long before humanity ever left Earth and potentially before humankind even existed in its current evolutionary form. The labyrinths seem to have been constructed by an ancient race of beings, who the people of the human hegemony named the Builders. Who the Builders were, or the reasons for constructing the labyrinths, were completely unknown. No signs of excavation machinery, no rusting miner's helmets, not a single piece of shattered plastic or decomposing simstick wrapper. Researchers have not even identified entrance and exit shafts. No suggestion of heavy metals or precious ores has been sufficient to explain such a monumental effort. No legend or artifact of the labyrinth builders has survived. Each of the nine labyrinthine worlds has been probed many times. Nothing has ever been found, however. The tunnels had been created by some technology unknown to the hegemony. It is mentioned in the first book that it has been suggested that a fusion tunneler would have explained the perfect construction of the tunnels, but such archaeological theories did not explain where the builders or their technology came from, nor that they explain why the builders had expended so much effort to construct seemingly meaningless engineering projects. The world of Hyperion itself held several mysteries. The origin of the time tombs, the motivation of the mysterious creature known as the Shrike, the legend of the Bakura. The fact that Hyperion was one of the nine labyrinthine worlds seemed, in comparison to some of the other mysteries, inconsequential. But the Bakura are such a small mystery. At most, you're going to find a few dozen indigenes living in a region so cloudy and smoky and unimportant that even the colony's own Mapsats haven't noticed them. Why choose them when there are big mysteries to study on Hyperion, like the labyrinths? Hoyt had brightened. Did you know that Hyperion is one of the nine labyrinthine worlds, father? It's hard not to speculate when presented with the many mysteries of the Hyperion Cantos. A major possibility is that it is all connected. The labyrinths, the time tombs, the Shrike. Considering that time travel is in fact possible in the Hyperion Cantos, it is not outrageous to consider that the labyrinths were constructed using future technology by time travelers, as the time tombs seem to have been. The involvement of the Technocore seems likely. The Technocore is the sentient combination of artificial intelligences that had evolved from human-made software originating on Earth. It is revealed at some point that the Technocore had sinister intentions against humanity. I'm planning on making another video in the future going into more detail about the Technocore and their connection to the legendary being known as the Shrike. 
The mystery of the nine labyrinthine worlds and the builders who constructed them is perhaps Dan Simmons' way of reflecting the real world mysteries of how ancient monuments were constructed. Many of the specific details about how certain ancient structures such as the Great Pyramids, Stonehenge, and the underground city of Darren Kuyu are not known to archaeologists. Placing the construction of the labyrinths hundreds of thousands of years before the dawn of human civilization, however, adds an extra layer of mystery. Any civilization capable of constructing these enormous tunnels on multiple worlds must have been great and technologically advanced. So where did they go? And how is it that they left not a single trace? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more Quinn's ideas.